there's the Lucas Sanchez team, right? I mentioned at the beginning of this, yeah, in the last seven days, they had five new listings. Um, you have to do things, you have to do things a little different than others do. And this was in 2018. Um, here's one from Marianne Alvarez from, um, she's from the Harlingen area. This was up actually up in San Antonio, but there, and I didn't, I didn't flag any of these. All I did was I went to Facebook and typed in client appreciation party. That's it, right? Client appreciation party. And there's all kinds of tips and ideas in here that you can pull from just from Facebook, just from seeing what other people have done with theirs so that you can get some ideas if you're not familiar with anything else on it or don't have any ideas or need some help with it, right? This is their first, Lucas's first one in 2018 that they had set up. And there's a couple others in here as well. Uh, agents you may recognize from our area. Um, like here's one that was recently held in November. So just know that it's there. And there, there's, there's, if you need help with it, give me a yell. Um, client appreciation parties are so beneficial. And there's actually checklists. You can go in here and check on Brian Buffini's programs. He has checklists for client appreciation, client appreciation parties. There's a lot of things you can do with it. It doesn't have to be expensive because you can usually get sponsors to take care of that for you. Usually get sponsors. All you have to do is ask in most cases. Anybody have any questions or comments there? Any other tips or ideas you want to throw out? Nope. Okay. So then what I'd like for you to do, if you don't mind, is grab your phone. If you're, if you're looking at this on your computer or a tablet, um, you can use your phone to answer. We're going to play Kahoot real quick and cover some stats. <clears throat> so on the screen, make sure I share the screen. On the screen, do you have a PIN number there or a QR code? You can grab that um, and plug that into your phone so that you can answer the questions. If you've not played Kahoot before, what's going to happen is the screen you're looking at right now. Of course, Sarah's the first one in there. Awesome. Um, the uh, uh, the screen that you're looking at right now where the names are popping up, that's the screen you'll see the questions on, but the answers will be on your phone. And, and the answer is not going to be there. It's just going to be the color. So the answers will be in red, blue, green, yellow, right? And on your phone, or whatever you're using, you'll just tap on that color for the correct answer. This is just real simple. It gives us a chance to cover some stats without actually just talking about stats. Very good. As if, as if we wouldn't know what a cat is for. We got that. Norma, some people love dogs, some people love cats, right? I've just recently, on a tablet, you can just go to kahoot.it. Just go to kahoot.it. Uh, you can do that on your laptop even. Go to kahoot.it and plug in the PIN number. You can pull it up right there. Just recently, I was talking to somebody about um, uh, life and the things that happen sometimes. We're talking about new construction and building, et cetera. And when I was a kid, <clears throat> when I was a kid, my parents were building their house and we were actually, it wasn't, we were actually building it. Right, we were actually building it. And it was framed out, we're putting the she rock up, doing great. But as a kid, I had hamsters. Everybody know what, you know what I'm talking about? The little hamsters that look like little mice, right? I had about 15 of them in a cage, big cage. And my cousin knocked the cage over and hamsters went all through the house. Mom, my mom was so upset because we didn't find any of them. They were gone, they're pretty quick, right? You got a brand spanking new house with hamsters all over it. Awesome. Love and line. All right, I'm going to count to three and I'm going to go ahead and kick on start. Those of you that are not playing, again, you don't have to. If you, if you, um, if you're not playing, it's okay. You can still stick around and listen to, to the information and maybe take some notes from it. Those of you that are playing, um, 
this is recorded, so you can always go back to it. And I'll throw you out the link for this information afterwards as well. I'm going to count to three. Unless you yell at me, I'm going to go ahead and click on start. One, two, and three. So on this screen, you'll get the questions and the answers. And on your device, you'll get just the colors. Once again. So the very first one, in today's market, home buyers searched an average of blank for a home. Today's market, home buyers searched an average of blank for a home. Cool. 10 weeks was the correct answer. 10 weeks, right? Oh, awesome. The, uh, and that's, that's important because when you meet that buyer and you're asking them how long, remember the three questions, right? How long have you been looking? And they say they just started. Just realize where you're at. Know what you need to do with it uh, to make it work for you. In 2022, buyers typically purchase their homes at 100% of asking price with 28% purchasing for more than the list price. In 2022, they typically purchased homes at 100% of asking price, 28% more than this price. True or false? How do you mark it? If, which one? Because I clicked on one of them. It did nothing. Okay. So, so normally if you click on, like in this case, you click on red or blue. Uh -huh. Excuse me. It should, uh, it should pick it up. Um, however, it's all dependent on the Wi-Fi and all that other good stuff, your phone, et cetera. Mm -mm. No, didn't? No. Well. Not that I can tell. Let me see. Nope. You're, you're using your phone, right? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, it should be. You should be using, should be doing the answers on your phone. Oh, oh or you okay, could do it on, right. I guess, on your computer, too, you if you have a different it. screen. Yeah, if you have a different screen, not on the screen that is showing this. Okay. So have, gotcha. You to, Thank you. Up another tab. Yes, ma'am. Blank is the most competitive month of the year for home buyers. Blank is the most competitive month of the year for home buyers. Yeah. April. April is the most competitive month for home buyers. Um, thus the eggs, right? That's why I was trying to help. Some shifting going on. 